all right what's up everybody man so let's talk about it because this is the new rumor i don't know if it's confirmed there's a lot of people that are saying that it is confirmed but um i could see this fight happening you know rayo versus Javante tank davis next um you know i keep it real with y'all bro this is kind of unfortunate for el rayo um i could see why he would take this this fight you know it's a big money fight and it is him stepping up and challenging himself. You know, Rayo, he, he's a type of fighter that he ducks no smoke, bro. This guy really, he's he's trying to take on the best opposition, right? That's why you got to respect El Rayo, you know what I'm saying? This guy, he comes from nothing, man. He got this shit the hard way, and he's, you know, he beat uh, Pitbull Cruz to become uh, the, the champion at 140. And, you know, you got to take your head off to him. But now he's going up against Tank Davis. Um and I just think, I don't know, bro, it's, it's, I don't think this was a good move, bro. I think he should have maybe took on another fight, maybe a, another couple of fights before taking on uh, Tank Davis, you know. Um, but like I said, bro, um, Rayo's not the type of guy to, to back down from a fight. But um, with that being said, breaking down this fight, bro, um, Gervonta Tank Davis is going to beat, he's probably going to knock out El Rayo, bro, to keep it real with y'all. You know, right now, Gervonta Tank Davis, bro, this guy really is the most well-rounded fighter, boxer I have seen in a very, very long time, man. Gervonta Tank Davis does things to where this guy just shows off so many skills on so many levels, man. It's crazy, bro. I think he shows off so much, bro, where he, he does so much in the ring that people miss a lot of a lot of the shit that he does, bro, because he's a damn power puncher. He be knocking everybody out. So a lot of people right away, they gravitate towards him like, ah, he just got power, but he can't box or he can't move. But bro, you're not, nah, you're tripping, man. Gervonta Tank Davis, when you really have an eye for boxing and you you really know what to look for, you will see how complete Gervonta's arsenal really is, you know. You know, when it comes to him facing off against El Rayo, I think what Rayo has on his, on, on his advantage, bro, on his side is his height. And his size, you know, he, Rayo's pretty big, bro. And, you know, he's pretty tall. As you guys seen it when it was uh, Rayo versus Pitbull Cruz, I had told you guys that Rayo's size was going to be a huge factor in that fight. Now, Gervonta Tank Davis, I think he's just a little bit taller than, than Pitbull Cruz, you know what I'm saying? But those guys are pretty much almost the same size, you know. So when you stack up Gervonta against El Rayo, um, height-wise, size-wise, reach-wise, um, you're going to kind of see the same thing as El Rayo versus Pitbull Cruz with Gervonta Tank Davis just being a little bit taller than Pitbull. So that could play into El Rayo's favor, but I just don't think it's enough. You know what I'm saying? Gervonta, he's too smart, bro. He punches way harder than a Pitbull Cruz. We saw Pitbull Cruz land a couple of shots on El Rayo and Gervonta Tank Davis' shots are just a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? Pitbull Cruz, he lands shots with a lot of power, but not that much accuracy. You know, he loops a lot of his shots, so he's he's hitting you, like, on the side of the head, bro. And that's not really, like, where the knockouts come from. The knockouts come from when you get hit in the chin, you know what I'm saying? And Trevonta Tank Davis is the master of hitting people on the button, you know, to knock them out. So, yeah, you know, this fight, it, it'll be a good fight, bro. Don't get me wrong. Um... You know, I think Arayo, he does have the power to hurt Gervonta if he could catch him, bro. But that's just the thing, if he could catch him, you know what I'm saying? Um, I would have to... I really don't know what the game plan would be for Arayo, bro. I got to put some thought into it. Because to go up and, and put a game plan to beat somebody like Tank Davis is just crazy, bro. It's going to be really, really hard. But, I mean, it can be done, bro. This is boxing. Anything could happen, you know. But, um, you know, on my channel, bro, I don't like to leave... I don't like to talk chance, you know. Like, people talk, oh, he's got a chance because of this. No, nah, like it's it's better to talk reality. Like, what's the the most probable outcome of what's gonna happen in fights and shit? You know, that's how that's how I always look at fights, bro. Of course, if you're talking about chance, any fighter could beat any fighter. You know, there's always a chance, but you got to talk more about like probability and what's the most likely outcome. You know, but we'll see, bro. Um, they were saying that this fight maybe for November. I ain't too sure, man. If you guys have more information on that shit, uh, leave it down in the comment section. But, um, yeah, man, um, right off rip, I, you got to rock with Tank, bro. Like, I've been telling y'all, there's nobody out there right now that can appear, in, in my eyes, right, that appears that they could uh, beat Tank Davis. Not right now, bro. This guy, he's 
getting into his prime. Um, and he's just too damn well-rounded, bro. This guy really is like the most complete, pretty much like a perfect fighter, bro. If you had to tell me, pick a boxer uh, right now and that, that that is most likely like the perfect boxer, it would have to be Gervonta Tank Davis, bro. He has everything, you know, so... Um, yeah, you know, we'll see if this fight happens, bro. This is kind of unfortunate for El Rayo, like I said, because he just got that belt. And if he's going to go up against Tank, he's going to lose it, you know. And who knows where his career will go from there. I heard El Rayo and Ryan Garcia going at it on Instagram Live, I think it was. And Ryan Garcia was calling him out to a fight for, well, it was next year, I think, April or some shit like that, right? And Rayo said that he'll be down, you know what I'm saying? They were going back and forth and... uh you know, maybe after this Tank Davis fight, he could uh, make a fight with Ryan Garcia, you know. But I don't know if it would still happen because Rayo would probably uh, not have his his belt by then, you know. But, yeah, you know, I just wanted to come out here and, and talk about that fight, bro. Because I've I've been seeing it all over the place that um, it's going to be Rayo versus Tank, Tank Davis next, man. And, you know, like I said, right now, um, going up against Tank Davis for anybody, it's... Uh, it's a very, very bad move, man. But, um, yeah, you know, I just wanted to come out here and give you guys my initial thoughts on this fight. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got Tank Davis all day uh, going up against El Rayo. El Rayo, El Rayo, he's a hell of a fighter. But you guys just got to remember, bro, when it comes to stepping up to these high levels, the experience is what counts, bro. Uh, not completely, but it counts a lot. You know, when you're under these spotlights fighting in these big-ass arenas with all these people, it's different, bro. You know, and Rayo doesn't have the experience on that level to where Tank Davis, he lives right there. You know what I'm saying? So you got to take that into consideration. But, um, yeah, man, let me know what you guys think about this fight. Um, Go ahead and leave me a comment. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll be on to the next one, man. I'm out.